sure about this? Of course, aren't you? Well, I mean, yeah, but... You know, you know how he can be. I know. So I'm saying, you know, it's not too late. We could still go to dinner or something. Mm -hmm. I spent hours preparing this food. We're going. Plus, I know deep down you want to go inside. Now let's go. But... Maybe he changed his mind. Of course he didn't. He's expecting us. Knock again. I was, uh, just cleaning. Haven't had company in a while. It's good to see you, Dad. It's great to see you, Rob. Thanks for having us over. I wasn't sure if you two were gonna make it. Well, we said that we were. I know. Why well, was your trip over then? It's not bad. Yeah, I think we just missed the snow. Good. Um, well, I suppose you two should come in. I'll take that. Uh, don't forget to take your shoes off. It smells good, Rachel. I'm starving. Rob, uh, how'd I do? I tried out a new recipe. Well, anything's better than crappy frozen meals day in and day out. But, um, this is great, really. Thank you. You should come over some night when she's making Italian. Her lasagna is the best. Hmm. Well, I do love lasagna. The best, huh? Better than your mom's? <laughs> Dad. Lom's lasagna was the worst. David. <laughs> no, he's right. I don't even think you could call it lasagna. Absolutely it's terrible. <laughs> Speaking of your mother, how's she doing? Enjoying her new life, I'm sure. Uh, she's all right, I guess. How's our furniture fitting in her new house? Actually, she's given a lot of that furniture to us to put in our new place. We just closed on a new house. It's a, it's a really, really, really nice neighborhood. It reminds me a lot of where I grew up. It's got this big window in the front. It looks like it was made just for the Christmas tree. <laughs> like we said, you'll have to come over for dinner soon. And, uh, you know, and I can give you that furniture back if you want. You know, we can just buy new stuff. No, no, no. I, I don't want it. The, uh, emptiness suits me. So when were you going to tell me that you bought a new house? Well, I'm telling you now. I mean, this all kind of came together really recently. We're really excited. There's actually a lot of stuff happening right now. But it seems like your mother's up to date, of course. Well... I meant to give you a call. I, I'm telling you, Dad, you're gonna love this house. I gotta show you some pictures of it. I mean, seriously, it's it, it's got this amazing sledding hill. It's just just off the backyard. I mean, it's exactly like the one we used to go to. Remember, remember how you'd have to carry me up. Right, so, I, how are you to <laughs> afford this new house of yours? You just started at your job. Yeah, three years ago. He's been promoted since. I told you that. Well, are you sure? You know, it's, it's like you don't tell me everything. But your mother, on the other hand... Has nothing to do with it. Oh, but doesn't she have everything to do with it? Dad? You've been divorced for years now, okay? We didn't come here to hash all of this out again. We came here so that we could have dinner with you. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm graced by your presence here on Christmas Eve because your mother had other plans. Rob. A date with her boyfriend, I assume. I'm the backup. 
You know, she takes presidents every holiday. And you, you know she's the reason why I don't get to spend time with my family on Christmas anymore. Enough, all right? Enough about mom. It's Christmas. You know, we came all of this way so that we could have dinner with you because I missed you. I miss my dad. But not this man who's got nothing inside of him but resentment. You know, did it ever occur to you that maybe, just maybe, you are the reason why you never see your family at Christmas time? I mean, you sit here and you focus on all of the things that you have lost, but wake up already! Yeah, I can't sit here watching you not recognizing the things that you have right in front of you, okay? I can't. And I won't. I just need to go get some more, okay? I didn't realize that. I get that you're hurt. I do. But David is hurting too. You haven't really been here for him these past couple of years. But you know, his mother... But he has done so much for you, and he has waited for you to be proud of him. But you can't even keep up with what's going on anymore. We wanted to give you this together, but I have a feeling that David doesn't feel like you deserve a gift right now. I think you might need it anyway. Look, I, I don't want to cause any trouble. You already have. Just open it. Dad, I know we haven't talked much these past couple of years. I'll admit, I've stopped trying. You used to be one of the first people I'd turn to. And now I just don't want to tell you anything anymore. Because you could care less. Which is hard. Because you were the guy who used to care the most. And maybe that's why I don't come around as often. I'm scared I'll realize that the dad you used to be is gone and might not be coming back. I know the divorce was hard. Believe me, I know. She took a lot with her. But don't let her take your relationship with your son, too. We have so many memories together, just me and you. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Dad, what took you so long? Did you see all that white stuff out there? Were the roads bad? Um, the roads were not great, but that's not the only reason I was late. A sled? Is that mine? This is yours. Can we go? Um, let's see what your mother thinks. As long as you do your homework first. Finished. Nice. Grab your coat. Really? A sled? He's eight years old. There's not an eight-year-old on the planet that doesn't love a sled. And your boats? I am, I am. Ready? Sort of. Come here. Nice. Let's go. I can't believe it. Best dad ever. You heard that, right? Best dad ever. I haven't forgotten how you were always just there. It's one of the things I admired most about you. Nothing meant more to me than your attention. Someday, I want to be a father like that. And while I am trying my best to become those things, no one, not even me, could replace you. And that is why I want the dad I know to come back. Because I need him, and my child will need him too. I'm going to be a dad. Rachel's pregnant. And we both want nothing more than for you to be a big part of their life, like you were in mine. I hope you can see how much this would mean to me. Love, 
your son. I need to uh, talk to you. Don't be upset, but Rachel gave me the letter that you wrote to me. Okay. Are you really gonna name your son after me? Yeah. I said why in the letter. Thought you said you read it. I did, I, I read it, really. I can't believe after everything that you do that for me. I'm not just doing it for you. <sighs> Son, I don't deserve it. You were right. I've been in the clouds these past couple years. So wrapped up in my own chaos. I've seen nothing but anger for a long time. But tonight, I saw something else, or read it. And it showed me the way out. What does that mean? It means... I want a chance to be the dad that I know you're going to be. You're going to be great, son. I don't want my grandson to think he has an old, grumpy grandpa. I want him to look up to me. I want you to look up to me again. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Dad. I'm sorry that you've had to go through all this. Let me be sorry. I'm gonna work hard to make it up to you, son. Don't let me down. <laughs> Never again. Thanks for letting me try. I love you. I love you too, Dad. You want some pie? <laughs> you know, Rachel makes the best pecan pie. You sure have a good one there, son. Yeah, I know. Let me see the room. 